Okay, folks, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wow, there's a big noise here. That's what I like. <laughs> we have a big class here today, and that's very nice. We've obviously put two uh, sessions together, both uh, my class and uh, uh, President Wu's class, uh, in honor of our guest speaker today. So um, let me just start by trying to set the scene a little bit for our topic. Now, I think most of us, if we look down, we see jeans. When we travel, we see jeans. When we come out in an airport, we see jeans. And there's a certain ubiquity to this type of clothing. And it's very easy to start seeing the world as a pair of jeans, you know? That kind of familiar set of clothes we all see, we all feel comfortable with. But of course, the world isn't quite like that. The world isn't like a pair of jeans. We all have our own interpretation of what those jeans mean. We see them maybe sometimes advertised differently, but the core message is often the same about what jeans stand for. You know, you have that very strong sense of the cowboy. The individualism comes out very strong in Levi's and their messages to us. Now, we, we, we could go to another object, like a dog. I tried to think of the simplest thing I could think about, and I came up with this idea of a dog. Why dog? Because it's like three letters. D-O-G. Okay, so it's very short, isn't it? Now, if I go to, back to UK, I'm from England, and I say dog, you know, people say, oh, it's man's best friend. This is such a lovely animal, you know? Now, I don't want to stereotype too much, but if I go to Korea, maybe it isn't man's best friend. <laughs> maybe people think about it a little differently. Now, of course, these are very superficial ideas, but they're all around us. This is how people think and how they react and how they interpret the world. Now we come to our class. Everyone here is trying to understand how to be a good scientist a social scientist, a very, very Western phenomenon. When we look at almost all of our management research, we see it's all driven by very Western American or Western values. You know, we talk about finding a goal in life, making a plan, having aspirations. What are you going to do in five years' time? You know, very anticipatory. The strong belief that we can control what's going to happen in the future, a very strong Western view of the world. Think about incentives and incentive systems in organizations. This is all a Western artifact. So, I mean, I don't want to talk too much about colonialism because I'm a Brit. You know, we spent a little too much time wandering around the world and picking up bits of land. But essentially, we've got the same problem here. Only it isn't colonialism in such a visible way, but it's colonialism in terms of thinking and thought and how we assume other people think. Now, when we go with colonialism and we start to think about how people think, of course, we tend to get lots of vested interests. People are reluctant to leave hold of a very familiar model. And that familiar model is, OK, we can look at the world from a Western lens. Have Western, <coughs> me, Western management theory, Western interpretations of how people think that become comfortably assumed, like a pair of jeans, to be ubiquitous. There's a psychology, and it's a Western psychology, and we kind of assume, okay, that's how the rest of the world operates. But a few people sort of stand up and say, maybe it's not like that. I'm very excited today that Professor Huang is uh, one of those people that's been willing to stand up and say, let's explore a new way of thinking about psychology from a, an indigenous point of view, from a Chinese point of view, and uh, that's what he spent a considerable, <coughs> excuse me, a considerable amount of his career uh, doing. So he is what we can call one of the uh, fathers of indigenous psychology. So I'm very, very excited today that he's uh, traveled to come and join us. He's a full-time professor, chair professor at National Taiwan University. He's also part of the uh, Academica Sinica. And normally people come to visit him, 
not the other way around. So I'm very, very delighted today that he's going to talk to us today about Chinese relationalism and how it challenges our assumptions about how we often are assumed to see the world. So without any further ado, Professor Huang. I'm very, very glad, very, very happy to have this opportunity to give a talk to your class. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate this opportunity. And then the title of the presentation is We Are All Relational Beings. And the, my talk is a challenge to individualism. And uh, before the class, uh, a student asked me to translate some terminology the terminology I used in the class <laughs> into Chinese. Individualism, I think all of you understand it could be very easy. And uh, as uh, James mentioned in his introduction, maybe some of you know that there is a, a movement called Indigenation of Psychology all over the world since the 1980s. And when psychologists import Western theories or Western paradigm of research into non-Western countries, I think it is very easy to find the models, the theoretical models, the method of research, the paradigm of research cannot be applied very Adequate, adequately in non-Western countries. So, some psychologists try to develop the so-called English psychology, IP psychology, IP, IP. And uh, there are two professors, one called Martin Arwood, Martin Arwood. Another one is also very famous, John Berry. I think Xu Sui, maybe you know this, because you do the article to criticize his approach. <laughs> Young Berry. They conducted a large-scale international survey. The title of the survey is Origin and Development of IP. Why you want to develop IP in your country? What kind of difficulty you encountered in this kind of movement? And they also interviewed me and the Professor Yang Kosu in Taiwan. And they published this article in a journal called International Journal of Psychology, 2006. I think you can find this journal very easily from your library, very easily. I think you can also find it from, the, uh, from your web, very easily. And if you understand the idea of scientific revolution from Thomas Kuhn's idea in his famous book, Structure of Scientific Revolution, you can understand this is a phenomenon which is waiting for scientific revolution. When he import Western theories, Western paradigm of research into non-Western countries, they found it is inadequate, it is something wrong. You found a lot of anomaly, and you need to develop new theory, new paradigm of research to handle the whole situation. And in fact, this is, this is a situation waiting for some revolution, but not so easy, especially not so easy for non-Western social scientist. Why? I think you have to think about this. Because the construction of theory, the construction of research paradigms for social science is not a product of non-Western culture. It is a product of Western culture. So for non-Western scholars, it is not so easy to develop theory, to construct theory, to face this problem. Not so easy. 
So, the first author of the survey, Albert, Martin Albert, he published one book on the foundation of IP. He said that definition of culture used by IP in non-Western countries is old fashioned, somewhat old fashioned, and it is influenced by early anthropologists. And they try to develop a theory to describe their own culture. And uh, he said it is not so easy. He published this article in a journal called Social Epistemology. And I read this article. I invited another colleague, his name is James Dew, to submit two articles to the same journal. And in those two articles are also published in that journal. And in my article, I argue, in the 206 International Survey, Aoud and Jamberi also agree, also recognize that the Western mainstream psychology is also a kind of English psychology in Western culture. And the most mainstream psychology, their theories are based on the assumption of individualism. In fact, this is also a kind of reification, reification of culture. If Western psychiatrist is able to construct theory based on their culture of individualism, and if this is a kind of merit, and if non-Western IP psychiatrist also can construct theory on the basis of their culture, I mean culture of relationship, Guanxi to me. Why is a mistake? And I published this article in the same journal. The title of my article is The Verification of Culture, Merit or Mistake. Please remember this point. Most uh, theories in social science or in psychology are constructed on the presumption of individualism. It is also a kind of verification of culture. If the verification of Western culture is a kind of merit, while the verification of non-Western culture on the presumption of relationism is a mistake. And the editor of that journal, his name is James Cooley. He read my article, he said that he discussed my point with his student, his graduate, graduate student. And, the graduate, and those students are very interested in my argument. So he sent two of his students to interview me. One come to Taiwan, another one is at Mexico using Skype to interview me. And uh, the interview was published in the same journal. The title of the interview is Calling for Scientific Revolution in Psychology. Calling for Scientific Revolution in Psychology. My argument is the movement of IP in non-Western country, in fact, is trying to initiate a kind of scientific revolution against the mainstream Western psychology. I think if you are interested in this topic, you can also read this article. And my argument is the mainstream psychology is, in fact, 
a kind of weird psychology, waiting for scientific solution. If you understand the history of psychology, about 100 years ago, Wundt established first lab in German labs. He tried to define it as a range of science. And he think, he thought the idea of culture cannot be taken into consideration in his research. So his fourth book is entitled as Principle of Physiological Psychology. And he understands the so-called scientific psychology cannot handle culture issue. So he also published 20 volumes of focal psychology. Focal psychology in Chinese is, is Min Su Xin Li Xue. You can also translate it as cultural psychology, Wen Hua Xin Li Xue. But he said that we cannot use scientific research to do any research on this issue. You will do interview or literature interview, qualitative method, not quantitative method. You have to use another approach to study focal psychology. Focal psychology. Another cultural psychologist, Paul, he said after that, the issue of culture has been escaped by the mainstream psychologist. They don't want to handle this issue. It is, it is a elusive goal in mainstream psychology. And I think uh, most of you understand uh, the so-called behaviorism. Behaviorism tries to treat a person like a black box. You just understand the stimulus and this box. Forget the human being. All human being is just a black box. Hey, it can be ignored. The all culture is issue also ignored. Forget it. And after that, according to Takachi, they try to develop many, many small scale models, small scale theories so-called mini-theories, but all those theories are constructed on the presumption of individualism. So you the these models or constructed on the presumption of individualism. Don't forget that point. And there is a research which is very popular in all social science, also in the field of management, called the research of individualism, collectivism. And I think many some of you are trying to do some research on this issue. I think this is very important. You have to think about what is the meaning of this approach. I think most of you understand a very famous book published in 18, uh, 1980. The title of the book is Consequence of Culture by Hosted. He is a very famous industrial psychologist. And uh, he consulted a scale, 32 items, to measure what goal our work values. Use employee of IBM company in 40 countries and administrate that scale to those subjects. Collect data. Use the method of factor analysis. And he got four factors. 
I think many of you know those four factors. Individual is the power distance, 权力差距, masculinity, 男性化, uncertainty, abhorrence, 不确定性的独立, 非常聪明,尤其是 power distance and, uh, and uh, individualism. His approach becomes very, very popular in the field of psychology and the social science, especially management. In a more than 50,000 articles published on using his approach, very, very popular. And he can locate all countries, all the, those dimensions, those four dimensions, around to locate all the countries on the map, where you are. And he found America allocated on the extreme of individualism. Other countries are located along the dimension on the other side of individualism, collectivism, which is become very, very popular. Nineteen uh, two oh two two thousand two. There is a special issue published in the journal called Psychological Bulletin. They published five articles to make comment on this approach. I think it is very important. If we want to do to do research on this topic, I recommend you to read this special issue. Very important. And it was mentioned that more than 27 skills had been constructed, had been developed for the measurement of individualism and the continuum. I think you may think, what do you mean by this? Why there are so many skills to measure this concept? I think that this is the first thing, question you think about. Why is so many skills to Why? And in this view, they find the idea of individualism represent the cultural idea of Western countries, especially America. Especially America. And it is more prevalent in Western industrialized countries than other traditional societies like China, like Japan, like India. And then if you conduct research, you always find the same findings. Chiang is a pioneer in this field. He tried to develop some theory to understand what we mean by individualism and collectivism. And he published one book, this one, Individualism and Collectivism Theory method and applications in 1994. In fact, it is a collection of paper. And if you read this book, you will find that it is very inconsistent in the viewpoint of the contributor in the, to this book. Very inconsistent. Chiandis himself tried to define individualism and consciousness in terms of two dimensions. He said that individualism and collectivism are ideas used to describe cultural level, If you to want to major individual level, individual label, you have to use another term, allocentric, idiocentric. But this is the only 
person who claims this. Other scholars, other psychologists also use the idea individually and consume to major individual level. So at the very beginning, he used the idea individually and continuum as two poles of one dimension, two sides of one dimension. In this book, you find that there are something wrong with this idea. He tried to define them as two independent dimensions. He tried to define them as two independent dimensions. One dimension called individualism, another dimension called confusion. I think he also has to think about this point. Why? Who is with the else? Why? At the very beginning, he defined individualism by some chat. And he tried to define collectivism as anti and the critical aspect of that it. We define individualism in this way. We define cultism in the opposite of this it. You also have to think, is this a valid way to understand the non-Western culture? Very simple approach. So, in the special issue of psychological bulletin, Fisk, Adam Fisk, he said, individualism is the sum of cultural characteristics by which Americans define themselves. Collectivism was the characteristic of the antithetic other with the American ideological understanding that we are not that kind of person. Here is the point. Americans try to define their cultural characteristic by the term of individualism. And they try to use collectivism to understand the other person and emphasize we are not that kind of person. Okay? This is a very important argument. In fact, this is a kind of orientalism in technology. I think uh, many of you understand a fa very famous book published by Said, Orientalism. Western people try to understand the non-Western people by their own perspective. And he called this approach as Orientalism. Don't want to eat, don't want to Said published one famous book. The title of the book is Orientalism. He said that many Western people, Western scholars, try to understand the non-Western culture from their own perspective. He emphasized this approach is Orientalism. Don't want to eat. Okay? So it's a guy now, so it's a guy now. 希望人他们用自己的观点想要了解非希望文化，就带着自己的眼睛在看，这叫东方主义。了解了好，这是骂人的话，啥意思啊？就是这样。After that, many psychology, many psychologists try to review. What has been achieved by using this approach of individualism and the confusion? And they found, in fact, that this, this is not a pillar construct. The, 
those two scale, four major indi individualism and collective in fact are major isolated concept, concept isolated, not pillar. Let me give you an example. Oisman they did a content analysis, collected all the 27 scale and analyze the content of those pairs. What is the meaning of the item? Content analysis, doing the content analysis. They found the individuals, individual is comprised of seven component, seven component. And the collective them embody eight component. Those component components are completely irrelevant. Pushan Kanda, they are not they are not Give her uh, please pay attention to this point. Individualism has seven components. The components are these here. Collectivism has eight components. Eight components are these here. Those components are isolated to each other. So, smart, oish, they conclude that the conceptual definition of individualism is very clear. The instrument for major individualism is very but instrument for major criteria is invalid. And in fact, it is an idea yet to be developed. High male pay, Chongfen Fadan Chu Lai, the Gaiyan. It is an ambiguous and yet to be developed idea. Please pay attention to this. Individualism is conceptually clear, and the, the instrument for major unity is valid, but the instrument for major cultivism is ambiguous. It is non valid. It is an idea for others. For non-Americans all over the world, and in fact, the others, the non-Americans in this world, are very, very broad. Their culture cannot be defined by such a simple idea as consumerism. Okay, Ambiguous and very the verities are very underdetermined. So it is very necessary for the cross cultural psychologists to define what we mean by criticism. Two years ago, Heinrich Heine, they did a very interesting research. They collected all the paper published from 2003 to 2007 in the famous international journals. They found 96% of the research using the sample from Western educated, industrialized, rich and democratic societies. In fact, they are college students from America and Canada. They house just 12% of the population in the world. So, they take the first character from those five words. Weird, white, educated, industrialized, rich, and democratic. The fourth character is weird. 
He said that the contemporary Malaysian psychology is so-called weird psychology, 怪異的心理學。你們可以思考一下,以白人大學生作為核心建構起來的心理學, theories, method, paradigms, which has been developed on the basis of white suit in American University of Canada College. It is a weird psychology. Okay? And if you export those theories and those paradigm of research to non-Western countries, not so weird. Okay? 请注意的概念, and if we want to understand the, what we mean by weird psychology, there is a very famous book, Social Psychology of Groups, Small Groups, to author is Tibalt and Kelly, Tibalt and Kelly. And they use a very famous paradigm, Yen Theory. And uh, I think every everyone of you know those terms. Prison, prisoner in my game. Do that one. Children couldn't get prisoner in my game. And they use the so-called pair of matrix. Pair of matrix is like this. If you are prisoner, and you have another partner, he is also a prisoner. And you are arrested by policemen. And they try to persuade you. Do you want to my And they use this pattern to conduct a lot of social psychological research. And it, they claim this paradigm is very, very useful. You can use it to understand all the social behavior. Think about the story. Think about the situation. Do you believe it is an adequate design for understand the social behavior? Children could be prisoner did much get. This is the situation where everybody becomes very, very individualized. You know what? You think about when we are arrested and the police ask us, you are the most individualized person. You have to calculate what behavior I have to do. But this is not the situation which happens in our daily life. We are not like this. Is there a problem? 可是你注意啊,因為pay attention, they try to use the, this model, this paradigm, to study all the social behaviors. Very individualized. Okay? Keep up and Kelly, Kelly, this book is very famous. I think most uh, textbook of management mention his research. This is a presumption of Western psychology based on individualism. My advisor, Tony Marcella, who was teaching in University of Hawaii, he emphasized this research in the mainstream psychology are constructed on the 10 assumptions. Individualism, reductionism, Experimental based empiricism, scientism, quantification, measurement, materialism. I think you may think about this. Very strange psychology. Pami Martela, he published one book to discuss the presumption of Western psychology. Then, a very famous study. Professor teaching history of psychology, he did. 
in the history of mainstream psychology, individualism and the search for individual dose has been closely linked. Closely linked. Is it possible to break this link between individualism and universalism? He asked a very important question. To me, I think it is possible. Is it possible? This is a universal model. In this article, I just use more space to explain than Jinzhu. If you consider it as a kind of rule for interaction for acquaintance, in fact, is it can be used in every culture. Nine or not yet. In Monty, what I can see now. Say, when I take the room, you may want to see you, you shall do a pin for like so many things in France. No one is calling you shall open a band and the quality of what? This is the position. This model is in water. It can be used in Western culture also. I ask many professors from America, from Western society. They also agree this model can be applied in Western culture. The reason why they have the so-called real psychology is because they overemphasize the importance of Interaction between instrument type, 过度重视这种。有没有问题？我再讲一次啊。事实上，这样一个模型是哪一个文化里面都可用的。那为什么他们今天认为这个西方的心理学是有怪异的心理学？因为他们的心理学过度。使用理性的大学生做样本 ，rational college student examples to construct their theory。这是在谈这种工具性关系的关系。有没有问题？有没有问题？请注意这个啊。So they account for only twelve percent of the total population in the world. Those kind of model. Can be used to understand only bands or twelve percent of the population in the world. 最理性的这些人。Because was, why they choose the the university college student to be the sample? Convenient. Convenient. <laughs> 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 you you have the urge to finish your paper. Alan Fisk published a very important book. The title of the book is Structures of Social Life. Alan Fisk is not a psychologist. He is a major in anthropology. He reviewed many, many research which has been done in different culture of the world. He emphasized. In all cultures of the world, there are four elementary forms of social behavior. 在世界上所有的文化里面，都有四种的文化的心理形态。Let me emphasize it again. In every culture of the world, there are four elementary forms of social behavior. He is a psychologist. He is a psychologist, anthropologist. He is view. Many publications in the field of anthropology, and he found 
in all cultures, there are four elementary forms of social behavior. Jis is Western culture. Even Western culture, they also have this kind of social behavior. The social behavior he call it. One is commercialism. Another one is authority ranking. Third one is equality matching. Fourth one is market pricing. 四群人的分享社群人的分享第二种叫做社群人群权威排序上下关系第三种叫什么叫 社会关系, social relationship, our social behavior is a relationship. But my mother is a kind of mechanism for you to understand the social interaction. 社会互动的一个机制。请注意,那个机制有非常重要的遗憾. Now I'm writing another book called 超越的本体,我做上的科学观。我们在谈科学哲学的时候,这个mechanism有非常重要的重要性。这个不是马克林，这是分类学。我那个是马克林的，注意这个。So，one he also sent me a book. He said, I agree with your argument. Relationism. The title of his publication is Relational Being. He said, in fact, all the people in the world are relational beings. Those关系的存在,关系的存在,包括西方人也是关系的存在,它不是个人的。个人存在非常奇怪。你想看那个人存在,就是在那个剑道里面,跟人家抓起的时候,那个是个人存在。要不然平常都是关系的存在。Kenzgerger他就送回本他出版的书,This uh, book was published in 2009. He said, in fact, we are all relational beings. So, this is my presentation, Sunday, so, it is us. Any questions to discuss? Our comment, our response. Find the uh, the Western usage of collective to to give you know, it is very easy for you to understand your own culture. I think it is very easy for the Western psychologist to reflect on their own culture. And it is also very easy for them to develop theories based them on their own culture. But as I mentioned before in my presentation, I emphasize the philosophy for constructing theory is a product of Western culture. 建构理论的科学哲学是西方文明的产品. The philosophy of science for constructing theory is a product of Western culture. For most non-Western scholars, they don't understand the philosophy. 我们大多数人都不知道怎么建构理论，没有科学哲学的知识， we don't have the knowledge of philosophy or science for constructing theories. Well, this is the reason why I spent more than ten years to write a book called the Logic of Social Science. 我两千年出版了一本书，叫《社会科学理论》。And it is viewed 
five major paradigms in Western philosophy of science. And I use those philosophy to construct my theories. Every chapter, I explain why I write this chapter in this way on the basis of Western philosophical science. 以西方科学哲学做基础来解释为什么这样写这本书的写法很奇怪那个泡沫学你看得起来会让独特没有人这样写过很多人写的直接这样写说我为什么是这个样子可是我都用科学哲学来解释非希望国家我们一般不懂
every terms must be clearly defined. And every terms every terms in a taxonomy must be mutually excluding and exhaustive. <laughs> They have a lot of rules. Oh yeah, because the, the, the game rule is set so I, by, by the Western I, country, so I, right? Not by own country. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is absolutely right. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? In second chapter of my book, this book, Second chapter of my book. I differentiate life world and scientific micro world. Language we used in life world and language we used in scientific micro world. In Western philosophy of science, the language used in constructing scientific micro world. Every term has been clearly defined, okay? But in our traditional culture, in our traditional philosophy, many terms are not so clearly defined. So, I use the term language game to define the terms we used in that world. Another term, language tool to define the language we use in constructing scientific microbes. For example, yeah. The language we use to define scientific microbes must be clearly defined and operationally defined. Can be used to construct, to conduct research. That's almost the same as the Okay? This is what you have to read about. Uh, I have a question, you might sound a little bit naive, but uh, well, I saw that in your critics you pointed out the behaviorism and also some uh, social psychology. How about the psychoanalysis, which is also very individualistic? And a lot of <sighs> psychoanalysis. <laughs> a long story. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> If you understand the history of psychology, you know there is a school called structuralism, structuralism, Piaget psychology, Coburn psychology of moral development, psychoanalysis are belong to this school, structuralism. And they mentioned the deep structure of human mind. Okay? Like psychoanalysis is the, the concept, concept of personality has two com three components. One super ego, one ego, another one it. Okay? This is a kind of structuralism. Structuralism. Piaget的 cognitive development, 认知发展, Cobalt的道德发展, moral development, 还有那个心理分析, it, super ego, ego, 那个人格的结构, 都属于结构主义的, If you pay attention to my model, Mandela model, you can read this. I have an English version of this one. And uh, I mentioned this model in my book. I mentioned this model in my book. Person means sociological level idea. This one. Biological concept. This is what psychological concept. It means psychological depth is located in the field of force. 
pulled or pushed by two force. This is from the sociological level. Person, the is an ideal person. Every culture defines the fact is an ideal person for you. What kind of person you have to become? Zhujia, Zhujia, Daojia, all in this setting. One ideal person is what? Zhujia is the same. No problem. Then the other side. Then our mental state, our self-esteem, is all in this setting. Life is about the desire, biological need, biological desire to push you to do something. But you have some cultural idea. What I should do? 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 This is also based on structuring. This is single point. Okay, but 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 psychoanalysis is unconscious structural. This one is conscious structural. This is conscious structural. Then emotional structure is conscious structure. If you look at the emotional structure, it is it super ego ego plus but you some. In many cases, you cannot know what going on in your unconscious. You don't know. Okay? So you don't know. You may have a chance to read this book, but I have two relations in the first chapter. No, science can be the first chapter. Now, I'm trying to write another book. Okay? About Chinese medicine and medicine. This is what I'm talking about. This is a very good question. It's 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 a very good question. 结构主义不属于行为学派 ，it is not belong to behaviorism, not belong to cognitive psychology. Another approach. Any other questions? 有没有其他问题？不要客气，赶快问了。Please. Uh, I heard that in Chinese, we have the concept about uh, qi jia, two guo bi tian xia. 然后那个极限是 ，in is my opinion is an individualism and so, uh, to become the 极限下 become the correlation is so how you can make picture to kind of concepts. In my book now I'm writing, I try to criticize the approach used by Max Weber. You know Max Weber published a very famous book. The title of the book is Jidu Xinjiao Ni, Protestant Ethic and the Spirit of Capitalism, and the After that, he published another book 100 years ago. The title of the second book is Confucianism and Taoism. Subtitle, The Age of China. And if you read the second book, you will find he used a very strange approach. When he analyzes Western culture, he treats Western culture as a cultural system. When he analyzes Confucianism and Taoism, he used his first book is a framework to analyze it. Yong Xiang to the Jiao. The Mongi. Tara Di Ben Su, when he analyzed Western culture, Christianity, he used Christianity as a cultural system. So, we know our system like the Jiao. Zai Hun Xi Lu Jiao Su, Tao Su Yu, Xi Wang as a framework to analyze Dong Wang. So, 那么马上就来个问题了 ，How to solve this problem? If you want to solve pro problem, you have construct a theoretic model to represent universal mind of self. This one. In my book, now I'm writing. I use this model to analyze the idea of Shusen. Cultivation, certificate, cultivation in confusion. And if you find this, you will find the point, your point. Lu Jia's children and the Western people, they are completely different. Lu Jia's children are completely different. Because the Western people are 
我们的修身，我们是讲一级一级一级往上升的，修身齐家治国平天下。各位请注意，这是东方道德跟西方道德完全不一样的地方。OK， 我再讲一次哈 ，In Eastern morality。在这一章，在这一章，在这一章。一生 morality， 跟这 western morality 不一样。western morality 它只要不做违反道德事就可以了。东方的道德不是这个样子。东方道德有一个叫做积极义务。You know in the Ethic in the field of the ethic, we differentiate the ethic into two categories. One is positive duty, one is another one is negative duty. In Western morality, he just won't violate negative duty. It's okay. If you do not violate negative duty, it's okay for you. But in Eastern morality, it's not enough. 因为都都怕是有点，要修身齐家治国平天下，天上天下啊！对对对对对对，它是一个非常奇特的一个东西。这个在这里我用了三张同一个东西。啊，这样一来的时候，你马上可以看到，在下面这个地方，呀，呃呃，我刚才那个那个那个图到哪里去了？这个图。它不是立体，它是，它是那个，哎，它不是平面，它是立体的。你们有看过？它是立体的，它不是平面的。我这样讲你们很难理解啊！哎哎，麻烦你哈，我 I I will show you the model, I will show you the model。哎，那个麻烦你帮我把这个东西找出来哈，找到那个里面去。我给你看一个图，你就马上马上了解。我们把这个叫什么呢？叫做 Homo h i e r a r c h i c a l s 各位请注意啊，那个西方的人的我，他在上帝面前，每个人单独个人，这是个人主义。OK， 这是个人主义。东方的我不是的，不是的。嗯，不是我允许对。Constructed in the 19th century, about 1,000 years ago, in Indonesia. That vicinity is already no Buddhist temple. There is no Buddhist temple here, and it was built about 1,000 years ago, and it was reformed about 200 years ago. Nobody knows why they constructed this temple. And uh, I visited this temple three times. First time is about 20 years ago. I see nothing. I just see, oh, a very great temple. Second time is uh, he, I attended an international conference sponsored by Coast Culture uh, Association of Coast Culture Sakai. Third time is three year, years ago. The guide told me the meaning of this temple. He said there is nine devils, 
90 volts of this tempo. This one is called Uchi. Field of desire, Uchi. Just in one, in the soul, when we are new mom, new mom, we are new mom baby, we have to stay for our needs. And uh, for you, grow up. Some five devils, five devils. You have to deal with the phenomena in your life world. Okay? Now, the second thing is the world. The world is very good. The world is very The world is very good. The world is very good. The this is a prototype of there. And they construct this temple to represent their inner idea about the prototype of there. This is a sign the world of the world. Do you understand? And you have to understand this is the world. There is an anthropologist, his name is Dumont. He published one book, which is very famous, called How More Hierarchicals. He used the term to denote concept of Delph in India. But in China, we are also concept of How More Hierarchicals. 中国的阶级是道德的阶级懂这个意思吗印度的阶级是种姓阶级它这个图其实上是那个普通态度懂了吧在任何一个宗教都有这个结构 of human being是人类的一种共同的一个心魔这个讲起来要花很多时间这个是另外一个他比如你问的我知道提一下所以我们在讲批评那个韦伯的时候你马上可以看到文马斯韦伯用的是Western idea of human being to understand the Eastern people. It's completely wrong. 完全不对。你就可以写出一大堆东西来。我现在写这个的书。Any other questions? 啊, 请问。You mentioned that the Western research was philosophy. Please say again. You mentioned that the Western philosophy is based on very precisely defined words. Please say, please say right. So that's what that was the... My scientific micro word. Yes. When we are con when we are constructed, constructed scientific micro word, everything must be precisely defined. So this this was the Eastern research world like likes, right? That's what it's like. No, no, no. In in non-Western societies, uh, most terms used in life world are not uh, precisely defined. Yeah, they are very ambiguous. Right, so how do you, how do you overcome this? Overcome? Yeah, it's, it's overcome it is follow my way of research. <laughs> 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 not kidding, not kidding. I am very serious. Host, you have to understand the Western philosophy of science. And you have constructed theories following Western philosophy. Possible, you can do this. If you understand the Western philosophy, if you read my book, I, 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 I can make sure. Very easy. Very easy. No problem. I'll tell you more clearly. If you really understand and want to develop a thinking approach, you can definitely bring it to the Why do I write a book about the science of the science? Please read it. I haven't come out yet, so I'll tell you this. I have 14 chapters in that book. So not easy to explain it. Then that is so I think maybe you can ask a professor. 
So you invited me to give a lecture again. But uh, this book is not so easy to present it in English. <laughs> How did you, 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 you say the Western the, the view to the culture? In a sense, you are right, but in my opinion, I think it's right. But you don't forget it. When Mao Zedong was talking about the Western philosophy, he said that the Western philosophy was based on the Western philosophy. Let me explain it in English. All Western theory are constructed on some presumptions, and those presum presumptions make you biased. It do not represent truth. Personally, it is just an appro approximation to truth. 用后实证主义的哲学来讲，它是接近真理，不是真理。所以 ，this kind of philosophy allow you a space of infinite progress。懂了没有？我再讲一次啊。所有的科学理论 ，all the theories in science are constructed。Constructed on some presumptions, those that are built on some assumptions. They do not represent truth. Not true. It's just a reflection of truth. Approximation to truth. So, so your culture, you have your, you only have your infinite space for you to progress. Culture, you just not stop changing, just the same. Do it now, do it now. I'm now writing this book. There are forty-four chapters on this topic. The Chinese are very difficult to understand. We use the Yin Yang concept to completely understand how it works. 请注意这个，很重要。有没有其他的问题？因为这是很重要的问题，所以我在讲的时候就有点塞题。有人问这个棒的问题，真的。Uh, you, in your inter interview article, you say that in, in, in the genus, the psychology uh, should be uh, in developed in different countries, but not so many parts, so many in, in, in the genus psychology. Mm. I mean, uh, what you mean, the, the, I mean, the, is the old, old culture need to be in the, in the genus psychology to, 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 to expand the... Uh... Theoretically, every culture Every culture has to develop their own unique psychology. 每个文化都要发展它自己的本土心理学。But as I mentioned before, now I am the president of Asian unique and cultural psychology. In May of this year. I was invited by the International Union of Psychological Science to attend a conference in Germany. And I presented my idea. I find it, in fact, is very really good for every culture to develop their own cultural technology. Why? Because the uh, participant for, for, uh, come from different cultures in Africa. Like Kenya, like Ghana, Bahama, the population in those countries are very small. When I report my idea, present my idea to them, they say, great, but how can we do this? 
对。事实上 ，actually， 最值得发展关注心理学的国家，在今天这个世界上，中国而已。懂了没？为什么 ？Population， huge population， 太大人口。其他这些小国家啊，理论上是每一个人发展他本土经济。怎么发展？不是那个印度、印度尼西亚、印度啊。对啊，对啊。你很可惜的是学习印度尼亚、印度尼西亚，他们那个每一个那个文化都小的不得了，怎么去搞法？所以你知道，因为 when I present my idea in mainland China, when I give a lecture, I always invited by three more university to give a lecture in their own university. Because their population is too huge， 懂了吧？巴哈马这些小国家怎么搞嘛？理论上是需要，可是不可能啊。有没有其他问题 ？Let's ask one more question at the back. Oh, oh sorry. Um, so from my understanding, you're saying that they should have some form of psychology customization based on culture. Um, and as you mentioned, it's very difficult. I'm sorry, I did not pay attention to the fact that we have to participate from Africa. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I don't have to But, but, I should encourage you to develop your own unique psychology to explain your own culture. That's obviously the key. Because it's very hard for an outsider to construct a theory to explain our own culture. Very hard. This is how you can see the history of the anthropology in the history of Western social science. Is used to study non-Western society. Okay, now I think this is the time for the non-Western scholars to study their own culture. Okay, so I so I just encourage, is every person should develop their own culture. You know, if you want to wait for person from other society to explain your own culture. That's something impossible. 不可能的事情。有没有其他问题？所以要要发展自己的。哈哈哈哈哈哈！哎，还有素质。有没有其他问题？有没有其他问题？最后一个问题，阿青。My fundamental point in my presentation, I emphasize a very important principle in the cultural psychology, which is called one mind, many mentalities. Oh, this one, this one. There are something in world, something common for all human beings in the world, but don't forget, there are some specific parts, specific aspect of mentality in each culture. And if you want to understand the people in a specific culture, you have to understand not only the 
in both of mind, but also mentalities in their culture. Okay. This is very, 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 very important argument. Can you come catch my point? Pay me give up. If you have any questions, please ask me. You know? <laughs> I have read your article about the Chinese power game, and I see some important uh, three terminology of printing and means the uh, So that's really uh, the are these three categories related to individualism or security? You know who is the author of those three terms? Professor Hong Kong. But I wish the other hostage, they identified that Chinese culture could be related to political. And in your papers, it's more important than the Chinese culture. And focus on individual mistakes. So how does that technically uh, can be worked in the collectivism? Okay. This paper I published in 1987 in American Journal of Sociology. This one is a highly cited article. You can find it from SCI or SSCI index. In the first time, in this paper, I first used the term Guanxi Mian Qing. In Chinese terminology, this title is called Ren Qing Mei Zhongguo Chinese Power Game. And in fact, as I mentioned in my presentation, this is an inverse model. And in that article, I agree with Mr. Wang that Chinese power game is a very good example of Chinese power game. Because the power game is a very good example of Chinese power game. Because the power game is a very good example of Chinese power game. Because the power game is a very good example of Chinese power game. Because the power game is a very good example of Chinese power game. Because the power game is a very good example of Chinese I also published many articles to explain what my means, what my guanxi, what my emergency. If you take a look at all my list of publications, you can see the the But if you think, for a person from non from non Chinese culture, these things are very important. These things are very important. So please don't forget that this mechanism can be applied to every culture. This is what I mean by universal mind in social interaction. As I mentioned, this model has been cited more than 1,000 times. Mm -hmm. It can be used to explain many, many aspects of social behavior. Yeah. I encourage you to use this model to answer your question by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> be creative. <laughs> it can be used to explain many aspects. 很多很多的这个地方都可以用。我看你这篇文章，其实我看不太懂，但是你先解释了，我就我我就了解了。<笑>他到现在为止，他是大概台湾出版的论文里面被引用最多的一次。那个社会科学，都可以学。啊，我我先解释。I can speak frankly, frankly. When I saw some 
research, which has been done on the basis of this model. I cannot believe my bad deal. I'm very surprised. They can use it in many places. It's a thousand times. I've seen the paper, I've seen it, and it's very interesting. You can use it, it's not a problem. No problem. Actually. Okay, I understand the point. Like South India, like uh, South India, North India. So North India pattern is not changing often. But South India, the culture is like depends on more like financial status. So if uh, you, if if you get um, uh, financially secure, then the culture is changing. So changing. how do you? Uh, no stable. No yeah, stable. yeah. How do you? How do you? Uh, how we take this culture as a base since it's not very stable? At the very beginning of June this year, we hold a conference in National Taiwan University. We invite 10 cultural psychologists and a new psychologists from different, com different countries to discuss this issue. And I present a paper. The title of the paper is Critical Realism, Multiple Philosophical Paradigms for Constructing the Cultural Inclusive Theories in Psychology. And after that, we choose four articles and submit it as a package to a journal called the Journal for the Theory of Social Behavior. And the editor is very surprised about that. He said that he'd like to promote the international debate on this issue, about this issue. And he asked me to serve as a guest editor to invite more people to discuss this issue. Why? In my article, I start a philosophic and a sociologist. Her name is Margaret Asher. He proposed a philosophy called analytical dualism. Analytical dualism emphasizes the approach, the importance of, importance of the approach. He said that we have to differentiate cultural system and the social cultural interaction. Okay? Cultural system and the social cultural interaction. Cultural system means who host in the history proposed the cultural idea. Okay? And if you analyze the cultural system at this level, it is called morphostasis. Culture system status at another level. You have to study the social cultural interaction. So then can unwalk到. Confucianism in Japan, in Taiwan, in Korea are all different, but in fact, it is a kind of social cultural interaction. You also have to study this. This aspect called morphogenesis. Confucianism in Korea, Confucianism in China mainland, Confucianism in Taiwan are mixed up with other aspects of culture. They are all different. But still you can find there are something common 
among those cultures. Okay. So we have to use the philosophy of analytical dualism to study this, to solve this problem. Otherwise, you will commit a fallacy. He called a fallacy of conflation. This is a very important issue, very important issue. Is there a question? Is there a question? What time is now? Last question, okay? Last question, okay? Last question, okay? Last question, okay? I just follow from the question that you have Impossible. 
No. <laughs> you have to maintain your identity and uh, to maintain good relationship with, with your family members, <laughs> with your friends. But you have to know what is the way to interact with uh, person from different culture. You don't have to do that. He said, we are trying to be able 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 to be I give you an example. You know, when I go to give lecture in give lecture to students from University of China Mainland, they are facing a program. They call the program ontological identity and epistemological confusion. What do you mean by this? He said that we studied the Western imported theories, Western imported models. But it makes us confused who we are, what we are. So you can find uh, when, when they are aware of the situation that China is rising, they are trying to develop their own theory to understand them there.。你你你了解这个情况，所以他们非常需要我这样讲，因为他不知道，所以他们面对一个叫做ontological if you use Western theory, Western model to explain your situation, it always make you confused. But they are very clear that they are like this. There are some situations that they are not aware of. So they are not aware of it. So you have to let me go. I have to go. Thank you very much. very much for coming along, spending the time listening to Professor Huang's very, very interesting talk today. I think that it's very easy to misunderstand it as an attack on Western psychology rather than a celebration of the success of Western psychology, but it's in, in its own space. And of course, really, the whole argument is saying we need to understand the limits of our current knowledge and where that starts and where that ends. And I think there's a certain amount of humility with going with us uh, to, to question what we know, what we don't know, and how we should sort of move forward with that. So, uh, and of course, anyone who is thinking of using Hofstede in their own research, maybe someone out there is thinking, ah, yes, I'm going to use that measure, then please think again. There are ways that we can sort of go beyond Hofstede now. I mean, there are not necessarily so fundamental ways, but for example, social identity theory starts to offer us a, a route out of these very rigid, imposed understandings of culture and other sort of ongoing emergent research. So do look beyond Hofstede to see a bright and very, very different world out there. So let's uh, again thank Professor Huang for sharing with us today. Thinking about the possibility of doing research with Hofstede's conceptual framework, I think maybe you can also think about the possibility of using my approach. We mustn't keep Professor Wong, his wife is waiting for him. 
Okay, maybe we can all just gather at the front and then we can have a, a photo together, a quick picture, 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 picture with this large group which has been lovely, so... <laughs> okay, we have to all come up here. Do we have enough space for us to do the craft? Yeah, I think we need to get these two guys in the back. So.